in this part we'll be further looking into string slicing and also some basic string operations which can be done so let's get straight to it in part one and two we saw how we can define a sample string so let's go ahead and uh, do that here so i have a variable called sample string and i'm going to assign a data value or a string value called hello to that variable in part two we saw that we can slice this string uh, using simple slicing operations such as this so if you wanted to get the first two characters from the string we would say i want to slice from the zero up to the second index leaving out the second one meaning it will return only the zero and the first index now what additions can we do to this what are the different variations we can bring about so let's say i wanted to get from the second index up to the last index and i don't know what the last index is then i could leave you know the place after the colon blank it would automatically imply that i want to start from the second index and go all the way up to the last index so you see in this case is it returned llo which is the second third and the fourth index now similarly i can do this the other way around wherein i don't know the start index but i want to get say up to the third index and when i run that you see that it starts automatically from the zeroth index and gives me index number zero one and two all the way up to the third index now these were some variations to the original slicing uh, operation which we saw in part two now in all these slicing operations one common thing to note is that every time we slice the string we went character by character meaning we got h first then we got e then we got l and so on now can we skip certain characters um, yes you can do that so in string slicing you have the concept of striding which basically means to skip characters so let's say for example we wanted to get from the zeroth index all the way up to let's say the fourth index but we wanted that only in strides of two or steps of two then we will introduce a third value here in this operation which is the value two now this value corresponds to the number of strides or the number of steps so when i run this you'll note notice that h is the zeroth index followed by l which is now index number two and we don't have anything after it because uh, there is no we have said that we want only up to the fourth index so notice that in this case it skips the first index which is e and gets us the second index so now it's going in steps of two similarly you could also go in steps of three and so on so that's a variation or the complete slicing operation in which you have the start index the end index and the stride or the number of steps now let's also look at some basic string operations which you would need to know whenever you're using string operations on python so let's get to that now the most common string operation is to get the length of the string in python to get the length of the string python offers an inbuilt function called len and inside the len function you can give the name of the string which in this case is sample string so when we run that you'll notice that it says the length of my string is five characters you could also count the number of characters a particular character in the string so the number of occurrences of a particular character in the string so let's say uh, in this particular string we want to count all or the total number of l's so 
in hello you know that we have two else so notice that this particular operation returns us a count of two so what is happening here in this case we use a function called count so we do sample string dot count and we say i want to count all the l's in my string so here if you said i want to count all the o's then in that case it'll say there is one o in the sample string and our sample string is hello the third operation which is also an important operation is to find the first occurrence of a particular character in the string so if you want to if you want to do that we use a function called find and we say i want to find the first occurrence of the character l in the string hello so it says the first occurrence of the character l in the string hello is at index number two and that's how we can essentially use the find function now if we give the character e here it will return index one, meaning that E is at index one in this particular string. Now, these are some basic string operations uh, which we looked at, which are important and are required when you learn Python. So in the next video, we look at more complex string operations uh, along with you know, some other operators which can be used along with strings. If you have any questions or queries with respect to this part and this lesson, uh, my email ID is in the description. Uh, you can send me an email with your queries. And if you like the video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And look forward to the next part.